Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm automatic. So, Honda, huh? This character's a little bit of a struggle, huh? <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, to offer you some, like, you know, non facetious first impressions of this character, it's important to point out. He does not have an invincible, completely invincible reversal. He's got the armor on frame 3 EX headbutt, and he has the EX sumo slam, which is a throwing ball. So you have options, but they're not that good, and the knockdowns that you get after them aren't that good. So basically what I'm trying to say, if you get put in the corner with this character, bless RNG, I, I wish you the best. Good luck. Hopefully there's ways to avoid getting in that position in the first place. Maybe the neutral can be developed so he's very strong. You just can't touch him. That would be great. Uh, he does have some good set play offensively. Maybe you can make some plays happen where you don't even have to worry about getting knocked down in the first place. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see how it works out. It's, it's so easy to make like these broad judgments of a character that just came out a few days ago. So I don't want to go too hard on it. Uh, I think he's the worst out of the first three, but that doesn't mean he's not worth playing in the least bit. By no means do I, do I wish to say that you shouldn't play this character. I think he's a lot of fun, and that counts for a lot. In a game like Street Fighter V, any character who doesn't have that three-frame normal, that invincible reversal, they're going to have some problems, right? I think what people think are the top five characters right now, they all got it. Three-frame, invincible reversal. Karen, Rashid, Buki, Akuma, they all got it. Honda does it, but that doesn't mean, you know, some big plays can't happen and maybe some fun moments. That's what's important, right? So what I, what I want to get into with this video is some of the techniques that I'm that I'm using to uh, use the 100 hand slap. 100 hand slap is very important for Honda. Very important. With V Trigger 1, you can activate off of regular one, the EX one. You can activate off of V Trigger 2 and V Trigger 1. Uh, but a lot of people ask me how I'm doing it. I haven't 100% completely perfected it or decided on which method I'm going to use uh, for each scenario because not all strengths of the 100 hand slaps are the same. They have different speeds, different frame advantage on block, on hit, different spacing. Uh, so some things, some of them are going to combo off other things that won't. That sentence kind of sucked. If I do light punch into heavy hands, it's not going to combo. I have to use light hands or EX. Uh, so the way, well, let's just go down the line. Uh, maybe I can kind of do this as I go. Uh, for example, if we're talking about that four frame normal crouching light kick is four frames, standing light kick is also four frames. So one of the harder ones to do, one of the harder ones to do is standing light kick. Uh, you have to use jab hands. There's no other way around it. And I don't think there's a lot of ways to make this simpler. Uh, what I do is I start with uh, my thumb hitting stand light kick. So then I can use my index finger, that's why I have the hand cam over here. It's my index finger, right? My pointer finger. Middle finger, ring finger. So that's why I have my thumb here. So I don't have some weird, you know, concoction like this. So I use my thumb. There we go. So jab, strong, fierce, light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, whatever you call it. And then back to life punch. And you can see my inputs right above me too. And you can't... There is a bit of a leniency on the window of the standing light kick. But it's not exactly big either. You have to be a little bit fast about this. A little bit fast. And that's that. You can't see my meter right now. But what could be good about this is activating. Yay! <laughs> And then from there, of course, you can do the one headbutt, get the Oki off of this, corner position, maybe use two, etc. Super. You also want to let this hundred hand slap finish completely so you get the full amount of damage. And this is, this is you know, if you were doing that light here, you got to activate a little sooner. Go like this. And then boom. This is actually a good knockdown, too. This one headbutt, you get a really good knockdown. But if you, hit, if you do two... I don't suggest doing that unless they're in the corner, maybe stun. Uh, but that's not the that's not the focus here. Okay, light kick hands. We're, we got that down, right? But uh, it, a similar technique is shared for something like crouching light punch in the hands. This you can do uh, light hands, and you can do ex, which is I think is going to be really important further down the line. 
Um, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. So, you might use jab hands maybe as a punish, as a poke tool. Uh, if they're blocking this, you are plus two and in range. You're plus two off of the hands and in range for the command grab. And it will also frame trap. You're plus two, the command grab EX is five. It's seven without EX. Uh, but this is easily answered by your opponent, right? They can just jump away, backdash. That's the next step in really developing Honda now. Is how do I deal with the backdash, the, uh, the jump, and how do I really frame trap from here, right? Because Honda doesn't have a powerful 5 frame move, he's got the throw, but this is out of range. The EX is like the option that you have, so you have to really figure out what's the next step. And that's what I, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. Post hands. Maybe I can clap him up. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. For that jab hands, you just piano up to heavy punch, and then hit three buttons. That's it. And then if you're just gonna do regular, you just hit one button, which is light punch. So, the next step in this is to combine something like Crouching Like It, and then do it, and then do EX, yeah, and then you get combos. What's probably a good training exercise is something like this, and then Buffer Hands. I'm still learning how to do it, as you can see, and then do the hands. And then activate, and then more hands! Yeah, it's, it's this character is going to require a lot of execution. I'm still not there yet. I have pretty good execution. Over time I'm going to get it, but it's not something I'm getting immediately. Oh, okay. I want to keep this video under 10 minutes. So what else do we got? Heavy punch hands? Sure. Pretty much the same idea. Heavy punch hands, but this time I piano from heavy to light. Like that. And then I hit heavy punch. But this is if I'm going to activate. If I'm going to activate off of it, then I'll use heavy punch hands. Otherwise, I want to use medium punch hands. I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> medium punch hands. So I'm going to end in medium punch. The reason why I want to end with medium punch, this is plus one. This is plus one on block. Heavy punch hands, minus two. Still safe, but not good enough. I suppose I could use light punch, but I don't know about the range. Uh, let me see. Oh, another thing that's important to note about Heavy Punch is it's not cancelable unless it hits on... If it hits in the later active frames, you can't cancel it. So if it hits from here, I can't cancel it. From right here? Yeah. So I think if I cancel from here, eh, it looks okay. Maybe I should use Light Punch hands more. I'm still figuring it out. Plus two. Yeah, I think I like the medium because I get more advancement out of it. Plus one. This character is tough to figure out, but I, I, I am enjoying it. So yeah, that's Heavy Punch Hands. I suggest going into Medium or Light Punch. And maybe EX if you want to activate. And pretty much the same idea, right? Same idea. Heavy, Medium, Jab, and then hit two button. That's it. Uh, medium Kick. Medium Kick is an interesting button to buffer off of. Um, it is faster-ish, but the range is not good at all. It, this medium kick has advantage on block, on hit, you can combo light punch, and then like headbutt, probably like, like this. Light punch and then EX hands, that can be good, maybe, if I can do it. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah, you're gonna get the target combo phone. There we go. That could be good. Uh, but then, like, what's the, what's the difference between, like, medium punch and then jab? Same thing, right? You get the, the target combo is better. Uh, in fact, uh, but yeah, to do the medium kick into hands, what I suggest is also putting your thumb on medium kick. And then I like to double tap uh, whatever whatever strength I want to end up on. So if I, if I want to do jab, I'll do medium, light, medium, light. Like that. But if I want medium punch, I'll do it the other way around. Start from jab and then medium like this. And then if I want heavy, I'll just shift over. Medium punch, heavy punch, medium punch, heavy punch. I don't want to get too technical on why or why not I would do one or the other. Because I'm still figuring out that myself. <laughs> I'm still figuring that out myself. There's like so many things to work on too. Like, oh man, this character, I think he's so interesting. Like, dash up, crouch, light kick this. 
that I think is gonna be important. Uh, in combination with dashing up and also just threatening with that forward heavy kick. But I'm trying I'm trying not to get to that. I'm gonna just talk about the hands. Uh, one more thing that comes to mind right now is canceling medium punch into stomp into hands. Like this. Now what this is this is good for a couple of reasons. I won't get too much into that. Um, it does combo. This this combos. This is normally three hits. So this in fact combos and it also frame traps if you do this. Right? But he cannot three frame in between that. And I he can't backdash either, right? Ooh, I gotta look into that. I'm pretty sure he can't backdash here. But they can backdash if you stomp. If you stomp, they can backdash away from it. So that's why I think this can be good. But you got there is one thing you should be aware of, is that you can cancel this super late. So you could get interrupted if you don't do it fast enough. So how do you do it? What I'm doing right now is just, I'm just double tapping Light Punch. This is Light Punch hands, by the way. <laughs> uh, another thing that you could do is hit medium punch and then down heavy kick. And then as you hit down heavy kick, piano, medium punch and light punch like this. And then medium punch and light punch again. See how I'm doing that? Bada boom, bada bing. My capture card is tearing. <laughs> Dang it! I'm not remaking this video. <laughs> and now you can't unsee it. Uh, is that it? I think that's it as far as... Um... One second. I think that's it. Heavy punch, medium punch, uh, light punch. Yeah? Yeah, that seems about right. I think I covered most of it. If I forgot something, let me know. Y'all have been really good with, uh, uh, you know, being productive in the comment section. Oh man, that's sick. To have a comment section that's really, you know, meaningful. Oh man, I appreciate y'all. And I'm also, I gotta say, this isn't like the, the kind of thank you that I can really, I don't feel like it's enough, but I don't think there is possible to be enough thankful for voting me, for nominating, voting for me and nominating me for Street Fighter League Season 2. That's incredible. I believe August 29th, on twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters. Uh, that's when it will air. And that's it. I can only thank you by just being there and doing my best. <laughs> but that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I'm Automatic.